2022. So here's the tea. 2022, right? Um, I, Natalie Nunn, was working tremendously. You know, like work had just took off at Zeus Network. And I had been, you know, on the road a lot. And so Jacob and I, we both were in a great agreement that we were going to take a little break and just, you know, still co-parent and be here at home and still be able to, like, we're best friends. Jacob and I are best friends. So ain't nobody lying around here. Ain't nobody not keeping it a buck. I'm too much of a boss. That was 2022. That's when those videos that surfaced today, those little videos from 2020, so cute. I love those videos. Matter of fact, ugh, I wish his clout chasing ass nothing but the best. I really do. So here's what I do want to say. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, it is a thing when you decide to let people into your world. It is a thing to realize that motherfuckers don't have your best interest and motherfuckers are crazy, okay? So let's fast forward to January this year. 2024. <laughs> 2024. 2024. Okay. Um, first of all, let's just all be bro. Everybody already knew. <laughs> Curtis was around. Hasn't been around for a while. Okay. Hasn't been around. As a matter of fact, I really don't want to say too many bad things about Curtis because that's just not in my spirit. It's just not in my spirit. But what I will address and what I am going to talk about is the fact that you've been trying to extort me since January. Okay. You have been text mess. You have text messaged me to send you gifts. Your birthday just passed. You have been text messaging me to give you money. You have been telling me that I need to send you a Rolly since Jacob posted his new Rolex watch that I bought him. And I don't fuck with you, nigga. You're not my man. We don't go together. We don't go together. We, you were a thing. Okay? A bitch cut you off. As a matter of fact, the craziest thing is, is the only reason you got a bed that you're sleeping on right now is because of a bitch like me. How I make sure that you got a motherfucking bed to sleep on and a motherfucker want to extort you and expo expose. It's not uh, expose. Let's talk about it. Jacob's in the house. Let's talk about it. 22. Nigga, you're not my man. You pulled up to Miami during Batty's Caribbean auditions and I had to sun your ass because you just showed up to a fucking club unannounced trying to be all in my motherfucking face. The whole place was like everybody, all the baddies, everybody. Natalie, Curtis is over there. Curtis, like, what are you doing? Bro, I'm not fucking with you. I told you to take your ass back to Albany and stay to fucking Albany. You call, ask for groceries. Bitch, I send you some motherfucking money. You call and ask me for some shit. Your family got this going on. Your mama got this going on. I always made sure that you was cool, you was good. Like, nigga, I'm not fucking with you like that. You are playing a nasty game. So then let's check this out. I get a phone call yesterday, right? I get a phone call yesterday from motherfucking no jumper. I don't give a fuck. Y'all want y'all want some tea? Y'all want to lay it out? Let's lay it the fuck out. I'm shopping, having a ball, spent $30,000 in the Chanel store, nigga. Ain't worried about you, nigga. I'm up in the Chanel store. I get a phone call from no jumper. Hey, yeah, um, we got this guy. He's trying to do an interview up here tomorrow. He's from Bad Boys. He's talking about he wants to uh, he wants to expose you and his relationship. Like now, nah, what, like how, what you want? I was like, wait, what? You? I said, do the interview. Do the interview. Please do the interview. I don't give a fuck because guess what? Jacob and I already had this conversation. That's what you don't fail. That's what you fail to realize. The conversation was had. You're not doing anything. You were a thing for a little while while I was on a break with my husband while we were doing a great job co-parenting. An amazing job. 
And guess what? That was a long time ago. So you want to extort me. You want to go up to No Jumper. You want all these blogs to run a story about you. You're a bitch ass nigga. Nobody in this industry is fucking with you. I can promise you that. They were about to pull your interview. Good luck today. Have a ball at your interview. I'm going to tell it all now. So it don't matter. Your interview, nobody cares. This is what clout chasing on 100 looks like. Nobody cares. Your rap game ain't going to do shit. You ain't shit. You don't got shit. The only thing you had was Natalie. And when I cut you the fuck off, now you want to give me money to buy me a Rolex, do this, this. Nigga, fuck you, bitch ass nigga. Go run and tell whatever the fuck you want to tell. You ain't, you not extorting me, bitch. What kind of a hoe ass nigga are you anyways? Talking to a female like, oh yeah, you need to buy me a Rolex and you need to, nigga, fuck you. Nigga, fuck you. I ain't buying you shit. The fuck we talking about? Let's talk about it. You wanted to be Jacob. You're never going to be Jacob. And that's the thing. Y'all niggas need to start playing y'all roles. That's what the fuck you need to do. Y'all niggas need to start playing y'all roles. Let's talk about it. You want me to be a boss ass bitch? The real boss ass bitch that I am? I wasn't sending him the money because guess what? I wasn't getting him a watch because guess why? Because he a hoe ass nigga. You ain't getting shit. You got a bed. I sent you a bed. Would you like to see the receipts and the couch? Would you like to see what? Do y'all want to know? Y'all, y'all want that? You want to see? Let's talk about it. How you wake up every day and text Natalie Nunn that you're going to extort me while you sleeping on the bed that I got you sitting on the couch. Like, nigga, you're a joke. I helped you out. You and everybody around you. For you to be a hoe ass nigga and get on the internet and do all of this is insane. Sextortion and extra, it's all a real thing. And I, if you think that I'm not rich enough to lawyer the fuck up, you're delusional. And any little OnlyFans check you think you finna take because you signed up for OnlyFans, any little check you think you got, nigga, I'm garnishing all your wages. Every last one of them. All these fucking tech, you threatening me if I don't do this and I don't give you that, you're gonna extort. Nigga, go to, I'll tell it. I'm telling it. Would you like me to tell all of it? <laughs> Would you like me to tell all of it? Because I don't got a problem. I'll tell it all. At this point, bitch, when I'm on a whole break with my husband and we're doing an amazing job co-parenting and I just don't feel like it's uh, important enough for me to tell the whole world my business because we're on a break. We're back. We're about to be courtside tonight at the Kings game. Kings versus the Bulls. $10,000 seats. <laughs> Curtis, you were never going to be Jacob. You were never going to be Jacob. Talking about send me a Rolex because Jacob got her. Jacob gets a new Rolex every other fucking month. It's Christmas every day for, for, for Jacob. None of you guys are going to be Jacob. None. Of, okay. It could be a break again tomorrow. I don't know. I just, I need a break. Um, I need a break. Give me my space for a minute. Give me a break. I took a break. It's okay. 13 years in marriage. I took a break. So I took a break. I don't know what I was in. Jeez, cause it's more it's it's more called convenient. It was a convenient situation, okay? And then <clears throat> convenience. Now you want some clout, ladies and gentlemen. It wasn't that great, so don't even. I get it. It, it leave it alone, right? Or do you want to keep going? I cause we could keep going. I don't give a fuck at this point. 